Hello and welcome to the Vidre Ambarad channel. So far we have seen the four steps that is from step 1 to step 4. In the last tutorial I have shown you how we can go for the target configuration in order to integrate the Sager system view to trace the free Atos application. Today what I am going to show you is uh, uh, we will convert the onboard stlink v2 to the jlink because the Sager system view will work with only jlink. Okay, let's get started. Now if you remember correctly during our first step okay we have downloaded all the softwares which are necessary to integrate the Sager system view into our stm 32 l 6 discovery board. Now go to the folder where we have this stlink refresh utility. So here I have uh, saved my uh, stlink refresh utility and then you need to extract this zip folder and then open the extracted folder. So once you have opened this extracted folder please connect your board to your computer so once the, the discovery board is detected so if you want you can look at the com port so right click on the window button and go to the device manager here in the under the port section you will able to see the stlink virtual com port is under com6 now we will change this stlink to jlink okay make sure that you have installed the necessary softwares that i have shown in the first step okay and then go to the software again here and click on the stlink refresh once the application is open so you can go through the uh, instructions here one by one so here we need to press the capital a in order to accept the terms by sager so type a and click enter and again we need to accept the terms and conditions by the st microelectronics to do that again we need to type capital a to accept here and click again A and then we will get some options here here we need to upgrade the onboard stlink to the jlink press 1 and click on enter so it will take some time to uh, reflash the jlink software so once it is successful you, you will able to see that your discovery or maybe your nucleo board uh, will be converted to jlink so if you want you can check that in the virtual comport here so here you can see that now the COM port is changed to JLink CDC, we are to COM port 5. Now that means we have successfully converted the onboard ST-Link to the JLink. So to quit this window, press 0 and click enter. That's all for this tutorial. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel.